Um, man, listen, man, I've seen you and D-Baby do a lot of work together. What was the thing that linked you guys together? Like, how did you know that? How did you guys build that chemistry and that rapport? Backstreet boy, really having it, having it. I went for it, sleeping in my car. No, I'm having some money. We was recording at Sugar Hill. Shout out Sugar Hill Studios. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. My mom, um, my mom didn't want me rapping. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, because rapping didn't, you know, parents be like, that ain't gonna make you no money. Yeah, so I kind of, I, it was finna start off like I was finna start sneaking and doing it. Mm. And then I heard, um, I had did like some shit. I was talking about a bunch of kids in school. You know, they call that shit a diss track, but I'm gonna just say I was talking about kids in school. <laughs> we gonna keep it professional. <laughs> and shit, and uh, she heard it. And I was talking about some girls, you know, but they little girls at this time. Like, not little girls, but 17, 16. We right. are our kids. So, they parents go to call. And my mom, man, she instantly, get that shit up there. And so, I had to take it down and all that. So, my, as I'm continuing to do music, I'm sneaking and doing it in the car. Recording music in the car. Late at night, smoking with my homeboys. And they hearing music at the house. My dad like, that's him rapping. My stepdad <laughs> like, that's him rapping. I hear him. That's him on the song. You feel me? But as time went on, they see you not leaving it alone. Oh, they my biggest fans now. You know what I'm saying? Like they support me. Like I get in the truck with my dad. Like that's all I hear. And he ain't doing it because I'm in the car. It's just coming on, you know, automatic. So, uh, yeah. But starting out, tell me about some of the road bumps because I know that a lot of people, a lot of kids, be watching and be like, you know, been trying to hustle, trying to do this, trying to do this, but be getting very all the no's, not getting a hit. It's discouraging. Yeah, so very. tell me about those times when you were discouraged, but how did you overcome that over that bump? Um, I get discouraged, and uh, some days I still get discouraged with this shit. But, uh, man, hey. my fans, my fans, just people that really genuinely support me makes me keep going with this. Because, like, with, uh, without them... I ain't, you know, that with when I'm down and, you know, I'm depressed or anything about it. And they call and they like, bro, I really feel you. I really relate to you. I really know you really went through that. And, like, they really know it word for word. Or they'll hit me and send me a message in a DM like, yo, 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 say something. And I'll open it and like it. And I can't believe you read it or responded. And shit like that just blows me because I'm like... I'm just little old me, you know right. what I mean? But it it makes their day, and it just it be just so crazy to them that I'll hit them back or, you know what I mean? Just anything. Mm -hmm. Just, man, the fans, bro. Just the people, like, that got love for me is really, you know, that right. what helps me keep But going. it's not cheap to do this at all. Oh, no, it costs. It costs a lot. It costs a bunch, and especially when you really want to, like right now, like just jumping up and coming out here, you're gonna spend some money. Like right. Coming to another city, another state, you're gonna spend money. It costs money, you know, but it's an investment. But you just gotta make like it's if you if you was in the drug game, mm -hmm. right? If we was in the drug game, which none of us are, but if we was, we would want the best quality shit, right? Right. That's the same shit with this shit. You're going to have to spend some money to make some money. Like, that's in any game. It take money to make money. Same shit with this. And I just feel like for you, in order for you not to spend your wheels with this game, you have to really stand out. Just kind of like this podcast. Like, this is one of the podcasts. I ain't never been in nothing like it. This song gone right, ain't it? Look, mama just <laughs> told y'all niggas you better try to get over here if you can. You know what I mean? You got to work, man. Lil Bubba put that work in. That's why he on Boss Talk 101, man. Uh, man, listen, man. I've seen you and D-Baby do a lot of work together. What was the thing that linked you guys together? Like, how did you know that? How did you guys build that chemistry and that rapport? Backstreet boy really having it, having it. I went for it, sleeping in my car. No, I'm having some money. We was recording at Sugar Hill. Shout out Sugar Hill Studios. Um, same studio. And I was always seeing him um, back and forth. I'll see D in the studio. He'll see me. You know what I mean? And um, He started going up really heavy. And we was, put in mind, we've been recording at the same studio since we both started. And um, as I'm just watching him go up, I'm just like... But I'm proud of you, you feel me? I don't watch you go from nothing to mm -hmm. this. I got all the old pictures of us and shit, you know? So I was just like, it's time. You feel me? He like, let's do it. 
feel me? So we get in the booth, we crack jokes for four hours. The song took 10 minutes, but we crack jokes four hours. I fall asleep, they playing with me in their sleep. I'm like, God dang, bro, you can't go to sleep around now, you feel me? So, ah, right, shit, I'm f***ing with them when they go to sleep. We just having fun, and, you know, we go in there and we cook up big. How the f*** we grow up in the sandbox? I'm trying to cut down on that shit right now, my stomach hurts. You know what That's I'm saying? Right. And I'm just like, I'm trying to tell my homeboys we're going big, you know. So the whole time I'm saying that, and that's all I can hear myself in my head saying, we going big, we going big. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking of that. So start thinking about all the niggas that doubted me, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, you feel me? I was just like, they got to watch me win. And right. As, the, more I, the more I was doing the song, the more I knew this song finna go up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, when I walked out the booth, I told the producer then, I was like, hey, can't rush the vibe. You know, Randa, I was like, hey, can't rush the vibe. We're going to touch over a meal with this one. I was like, yeah, we'll see. You know what you I'm saying? It. Like that. Yeah. Two weeks later, that boy, M Ticket. Mm. Two weeks, M Ticket. M Ticket. Like, how did that feel to even, you know, to to to, to cross cross that line like that, to do it? I ain't going to lie. It was very exciting watching it touch a meal. But then when it hit it, it was like, okay. Which song was that? Going big. Going big. And was that your first one, right? That's your first yeah. one that ever hit that mill. Yeah, that well, was the first I, one. Give me a little end. bit of your verse on that. Uh, how the fuck would grow up in a sandbox and you treat me like you don't know me and you start having kids and I don't even get to know them. They probably hate me because I'm up. I had to starve in Oklahoma. My own family don't come around. They only call when they want me. He ain't fuck with me then. He ain't fucking with me now. Why that nigga acting like a nigga from out of town? She watch me for my codeine, I watch in her tie. He want to be a gangster to that contract sign. Real street nigga from the steam, not the stein. Rubber band around my tent, I did it ten times. R.P. the pimp, see, I still see what? lines. What? <laughs> what? Nah, for real. Y'all ain't that lying. He, that's a Texas nigga, man. That nigga say R.I.P. the pimp, see, I knew it was coming. <laughs> this shit is not nothing to play with, nah, nigga. for real. We serious about that down here, hey, man. Hey, for real. And, 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 and like, like, what, what, uh, you done said the name, you know, that you just shut the show off for a minute. Like, what <laughs> was it that stick out to you to even mention the pimp like that, man? Man, pimp, see, dog, he was so player, man, and... Like, I just ain't never been one of them guys, you know, uh, and no offense when I say this, but, like, you know, people be wanting to have, like, two guys with a girl. Like, I just ain't never been one of them guys. I'm just a player, man. Like, I'm going to have my own woman. I ain't finna be in the room, run no train with no niggas. I ain't doing none of that, dog. That like, pimp? I'm pimp. He player. Like, and, like my daddy, he swanging, swangers. He swanging, taking me through the block, jamming Pimp C. So, when I got older and realized who Pimp C was as a man, he a player. And I'm just feel like I'm just so player in my heart. Like, man, I love Pimp. What, like, was, <laughs> what was the song your pops used to play? Man, boy, I can't lie Which to one? you. Which one? I don't know, boy. I don't know, boy. It was a bunch it of It was a boy. bunch of Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.